Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a giant Sunday reset with me and we're also going to be doing an amazing recipe and I'm not going to forget a little self-care because I have been letting myself go last lately so we're definitely going to be taking care of ourselves today. If you're new here my name is Lauren Nicholson. I love to do all things homemaking so definitely subscribe if you're looking for motivation for homemaking, decorating, cleaning, and cooking and if you're returning it is so great to see you. I cannot wait to jump into this restorative day let's get right into it I am so excited to share not only today's sponsor but also my new favorite skincare brand which is oak essentials Oak Essentials is a line of luxurious products that work to make your body feel naturally hydrated and almost give you the feeling of not wanting to wear makeup ever. It also aims to unlock healthy, glowing skin with decadent and hydrating ingredients that give you that luxe dewy glow. And if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know that I have super, super dry skin from taking Accutane when I was a kid. So having a product like this has been an absolute game changer for me and the health of my skin. Oak Essentials approach to aging is centered on the idea of helping you look and feel beautiful and your best at every age. So the two products that I picked up was the Moisture Rich Balm, which is a nutrient-rich balm that supports collagen production and delivers serious hydration for a luminous glow. I love to use this on all of my joints, like my elbows and knees, and anywhere that I feel gets really dry. So for daytime use, a little bit goes a long way. So I like to apply a little bit in the mornings, but at night, I like to do it generously to really lock in all of that moisture while I go and have my beautiful beauty sleep. I also love their dewy body oil, which is beautiful. Oak Essential Dewy Body Oil is a lightweight body oil that absorbs instantly and improves the tone and texture from head to toe. I feel like with winter coming up, I always have a really dry skin. I don't know about you guys, but summertime, my skin is always really happy. I don't know if it's because I spend a lot of time in, um, we have a salted pool or in the ocean, but during the winter months, I always find that I have really, really dry skin. So I have been putting on my Oak Essential every single day. What I love to do is every morning when I take a shower, I like to actually put it on right after I get out of the shower and I feel like it locks in all of the moisture throughout the day and it leaves my skin and my body feeling almost like I'm wearing some blurry makeup. It just makes me feel so good. And then at night, I like to do about two minutes of just putting the oil all over my body and I feel that it locks in moisture through the night and I wake up having dewy skin. If you guys wanna check out Oak Essential, it is my go-to for skincare brands right now for radiant and glowing skin. They are offering us 15% off your first order today by using the code Lauren at checkout. That's 15% off your first order at oakessentials.com slash Lauren and use promo code Lauren. Whether you're starting from scratch or filling in the gaps, Oak Essential gives you one less thing to worry about. So treat yourself to beautiful dewy skin this winter. Thank you again to Oak Essential for sponsoring today's video and making a product that makes me feel like a golden angel every single day. To start my Sunday reset, I like to do some meal planning. You guys know I love that. I will link down below my free printable if you guys are looking for um, a printable for how to do meal planning, but honestly, it's really easy. So I'm just adding in everything I'm gonna make for dinner, and then on the other side of this paper, I'm going to write down everything I need to do to grocery shop and order food to get through the entire week. I like to not only do the meal prep, but I also like to do all the kids' activities, so I go through not only my meal plan, but I also go through our master calendar and any recipes that I am going to be cooking or doing some recipe testing for my YouTube channel. I do all of that here. Once I'm done with that, I will put an order in to have all of this delivered and some of which I will go out and get, especially when it comes to produce and uh, proteins. I really like to pick those out on my own, but I can't get started until I have my plan together. So I always start there.
The day prior, I found these really wonderful fall inspired breakfast bites from Trader Joe's. I got some apple cinnamon um, donuts and some bear claws. I thought would be really sweet to just kind of add over to this corner. So as the kids kind of came through in the kind of later morning, they could grab these. They were really, really yummy. I was actually quite impressed with all of the fall inspired foods at Trader Joe's this year. Tell us in the comments down below if you have any favorite go-tos because I not only love a lot of their fall inspired things, but if you find that Trader Joe's mailer that they give you, it's like a little newsletter when you check out, there's so many great, beautiful recipes there that I really, really want to try this year. So tell us in the comments down below. So for the afternoon on a Sunday, while I'm waiting for our groceries to be delivered, I'm usually doing things like laundry, organizing all of our handbags for work and the kids' backpacks, but I also obviously have to prep lunch. So I did something very simple today. I just did some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and then just made them a really healthy dish for lunch. Tell us in the comments down below, what are some of your favorite recipes to cook for fall? And I'm looking for some new inspiration for my fall recipes. So I'd love to know what you love. And if you have a blog or anything like that, please definitely link it down below so that we can learn from you guys as well. guys here is our gigantic restock today I have everything for meal prep I haven't been meal prepping so I'm finally getting back into the groove of that and I want to go through under the sink and just restock a bunch of items that we are really really low on and then I got all the proteins I'll need for this week's meals we're gonna freeze these I've got cereals bread um, I found some really beautiful fall florals I'm going to um, do a video on a fall decorate with me. I'm going to be moving a table out here for some dining. And then everything else here is just like fruits, vegetables, snacks for the kids, um, school stuff. Nothing too exciting here, but I need to clean out the refrigerator because it's pretty bare. We'll clean all these out, clean all that out, restock. And then in here, it's always like this on Sunday. We had eight kids here last night. We had three kids from one family spend the night and then one other friend of my daughter's spend the night. So they cleaned us out pretty good, <laughs> which is to be expected. So we're just going to restock all of these. I'm going to restock all of this for Monday morning. I got more oatmeal. We go through a lot of oatmeal as well as granola. I'll probably end up decanting the granola and the cereals and the pancakes. I didn't need a whole lot over here. The only thing I was out of was risotto and rice. So we're gonna restock those. Everything else is looking really good in here. More cat food. And um, the other thing I wanted to tackle is under here, I just like, it got away from me. So we're gonna clean this up because it's very messy. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love to have a football game playing in the background on a Sunday, even though I really don't enjoy watching football at all. I'm more of a basketball person, but I love the sound of having the game playing. I love having a chili on the stove. It just reminds me so much of fall. I guess it's just how I was raised, but while I'm cleaning out the refrigerator, which definitely needs a deep cleaning, I have football going on in the background. Tell us in the comments down below 
if you're a football lover, what is your team? I'm here in the Bay Area, so we're 49ers all day long. So in here, I'm just gonna be adding snacks to replenish for the kids' lunches. I like to add in yogurts, it's good protein for them. I kind of switch it up from time to time. I use different products all the time just so that they don't get too fatigued on what we add in there. And then I also like to add in some either Yo Bell or uh, Baby Bells. Oh, my kids love Yo Bell, but Baby Bells or string cheese just to add a little extra protein as well. And then I like to organize all of their lunch items. So all the things they need for sandwiches in one drawer and then all of our proteins for dinners in another drawer. One of the reasons I really like to restock every single Sunday is not only to get organized and make sure that I have all the food that we need throughout the week to reduce stress and stay organized, but it's also a great way to declutter and clean spaces that you use a lot. So that's why I like to not do this monthly and have stockpiles, but I really like to do this every single week that way I stay on top of the cleanliness and hygiene of our refrigerator but also make sure that everything that's in here coincides with my meal plans. Every week I pretty much do the same thing. I get these strainers and I like to clean and prep all of our vegetables. It kind of depends on what I'm gonna be making that week, whether I actually chop anything, but at the bare minimum, I like to get everything washed. Back in my early days of becoming a mom, I never realized how important it was to wash your fruit and vegetables. I used to always think that companies washed and uh, clean their fruits and vegetables and things like that. But actually, I mean, I think to some degree they try to, but it's really important if you are a mom or anybody out there, actually, uh, you should definitely be washing your fruits and vegetables and everything you get from the store because it transfers through so many hands and you can't really rely on the fact that it has been cleaned. And also a lot of times, even organic foods sometimes have cross pesticides on them. So I always find now, Washing everything gives it a nice clean base and I end up re-washing it before I chop it anyway. That way I know it's been double washed. I know that seems weird, but um, try to do a little research on it and you'll see that it's really important to make sure you're feeding your kids and yourself healthy and pre-washed or extra washed fruits and vegetables. So here is everything all cleaned and ready in my refrigerator boxes. I always link these down below. I clean them out every Sunday. I've always done that. It just keeps everything really clean. Like I said, you wanna keep your food and all of the hygiene in your refrigerator nice and clean. So now that that's done, I'm going to continue to clean all the other items that I picked up from the store. I've been storing all of my herbs in these little boxes I picked up from the dollar spot at Target. And I also have a bunch from 
uh, the container store as well that I use. It kind of just depends on what I'm adding in here, but I will link these down below. If you're looking for a nice solution to store your herbs, I feel like they're always the first thing to go in the refrigerator. Now that I have everything organized here in the refrigerator, I am going to head into the pantry and start to restock for the week ahead. I always like to restock things like pancakes, oatmeal, cereals for the kids. Um, we tend to go through those a lot. I find that the older my kids get, the more they come home from school and want to have cereal again. So I always like to make sure I have enough of the things that they like because they all like different things. Um, it depends on kind of the time of year, but right now we've kind of got a mix of everything from oatmeal to granola to pancakes to eggs. And then I always keep some fun cereals in here, which the kids don't really eat a whole lot of, but sometimes when they do, they find it to be a little bit of a treat. So I'm going to restock that. And the other thing I need to restock is all of their snacks. So typically for their lunches, they always get a really healthy lunch. And then I add in one or two um, kind of snacks for them to grab for both of their recesses. Couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there But you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track Of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't want to let you go I feel like I always forget to restock underneath our kitchen sink here. I am very much looking forward to slowly figuring out how to redo so many areas in this house that don't function the way I'd like to. At our old house, um, we it was completely different when we bought it and it took us probably about 10 years to kind of really strategically rebuild it the way that made sense for our home and our family. And, you know, we did little bits and some of which you guys got to see on our channel. You didn't get to see our major remodel after the earthquake, but you did get to see our pantry and just kind of how we made sense of that house took many years. Um, tonight, my husband and I were sitting in the backyard talking about how um, to start kind of making sense of this house and God forbid I say be more minimalist, but I really would like to have a more minimalist feel in this home than in past homes where we really celebrated our antiques here. We will do the same, it's just in a different style. So we've been slowly talking about that. So we've only been here for a year. It will take time for us to slowly start to transition this house. And every time I think that we have a plan, I just 
feel like we just haven't spent enough time trying to figure out how we want to spend time here. So we are definitely in the process of doing that. As we approach the holiday season, I really don't want to start any construction and I really want to spend more time just getting ready for Halloween with the kids. We've already ordered all of their outfits and just try to stabilize our routines as much as we can. And then maybe in the new year, start to do some major construction, but I am not really sure. Tell us in the comments down below if you have had home construction and some tips and tricks for how to really get started with it and enjoy that process. I just feel like I don't know what I want to do here. And every time we have ideas, I think they're great, but ultimately I just, I'm just not sure. And, you know, we spent so much time putting together a plan for our old house that I think that maybe we need just a little bit more time, but I'd love your advice in the comments down below. Ever since I got a good look in his eyes, I just knew that he was special. He said he wanted to take it slow, but I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level. Cause I wanted that great love, like standing in the middle of a bond. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know Then tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't want to let you go oh, oh, oh. Cause we want different things And I have to deal with it But it's not easy So tell me how to let go Cause you really seem to know Carry on So tonight's dinner, I'm going to be making a Thai red curry coconut soup with chicken in it. To get started, I'm going to actually be cooking the chicken in my Instant Pot. It really just cuts down on the thyme. I love the smell of it too. So all I'm going to do is add some chicken stock to this, a little bit of garlic salt, and mix that all around. I'm going to cook that on high for 10 minutes, really simple and fast. Since it's fall, I decided to add a little sage and some cinnamon sticks. I thought that would give it such a good flavor and oh my goodness, does this turn out so good. If you guys are on my membership, you have already seen this, but if not, it is linked down below. So I'm going to be chopping up some red onions. What I like about this recipe is you cook it all down really slowly, but the flavors incorporate so beautifully. I also found some really spicy, red chilies out in the garden that I'm going to be adding to this. My goal is by hopefully 2025, I will be at least 50 to 65% farm to table with my gardens outside. Um, I'd love to get to the place where everything comes from the garden except for proteins, but we will see. So the other things we're gonna do, we're gonna cut up our onions. I'm gonna be cutting up some red bell pepper. We're gonna be chopping up some garlic. I'm also using fresh ginger in this recipe. I absolutely love using ginger. I did a really delicious pho soup on my channel that was so good. Also used a little bit of ginger in that as well. All you have to do is take off the skin and just mince it up. I'm going to be using some lime juice, cilantro, and some fresh basil from the garden, which I'll show you guys, as well as cilantro. I just feel like basil, Thai basil, and cilantro go so beautifully together, and these fiery jalapenos I found in the garden were so spicy. So let's head out to the garden. I'm gonna snag some of that Thai basil. I also later in the week grabbed all of that basil and made the most delicious pesto. I don't remember if I filmed it or not, but it was so good. I'm really starting to get sad about the reality that I'm going to have to pull this garden out and get my fall garden in, but I'm just not ready, you guys. I was so proud of what I was able to grow in there. Tell us in the comments down below if you've started your fall garden or you haven't, I'm just not ready to do it. Met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by, I couldn't get him off my mind. 
In a pot, go ahead and add some olive oil, your garlic, onions, ginger, and bell peppers. Let that stew down for a little bit. Then we're gonna be adding in our red curry paste. I absolutely love the flavor of red curry paste. I like to add a little olive oil just to break everything down and make it a lot easier. It also keeps that red curry paste from burning at the bottom of your pan. So we're gonna add all that in. We're gonna go check on our chicken, which I have to tell you smells so good. We ended up actually taking some of the broth from this and drinking it because it was so delicious. I had to ask my husband to come over and smell it because I couldn't believe between the sage and the cinnamon sticks, it smelled so good. I was so impressed. I definitely have two other recipes I'm thinking about doing with this, but the broth was fantastic. We're going to actually be adding some of that back into our soup. So for the vegetables, we're going to be adding in a can of our coconut milk. I like to use a 14 ounce can with full fat, and then we're going to be adding in about four cups of chicken stock. Let's let that cook down for a little bit. And then we're gonna add in the chicken. I like to add the chicken in prior to the noodles. That way the chicken absorbs all of that flavor. And sometimes I find in the Instant Pot, it can get a little bit dry. So this will rehydrate it and give it that great flavor. Then you can go ahead and add your noodles in and let that sit. I found these adorable bowls over at Home Goods, and I thought they'd be so perfect for this. I always love to make pho in the winter time and I love curries. I love love all types of Thai and Indian and different inspired dishes like that. So I found these bowls and I knew I'd use them. I thought it'd be fun to top this with a little extra cilantro, those beautiful chilies from the garden, some avocados, lime, and some of that fresh, beautiful Thai basil from the end of our summer garden. And voila, this is dinner tonight. It is a Thai red curry coconut chicken soup. I will put the link to this down below. And if you want to join my channel, you can print the actual page for my cookbook. I hope you guys enjoyed today's beautiful fall restock with me. Don't forget to put yourself first and check out Oak Essentials and give your body the hydration and glow it deserves. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video real soon. Bye. <music>